You know I had request after request saying that there's no way I should be firing up the RC Max engine without the fifth scale boss. And the main requester was this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to see, brother, your first time? I am. Look at this. That's pure Canadian flannel Whoa. right there. That pipe's bigger in person. Oh, I get that a lot. <laughs> a lot. Wow. Yes, man. Body is all hooked up after the install is done. Wow, I've never seen such a thing. It looks like a rocket ship now with that coming out the back. Dude, that looks so awesome. Right? So I did install the wheelie bar. I'll get into it here in a moment to show you how we did that. This is the rear roll cage that protects the tip of the pipe, which is just attached by the hardware that's included. It's a little tiny P-clip that wraps around and you bolt it to the cage and then just into the back bolts here. So we, do, cool. we do need to put in the proper breather hole for the gas tank instead of my little plug there since now I have it. And uh, we should get this thing wrapped. Heck what do you think? yeah! Yeah, let's take this off. I'll show you what it looks like inside. All I'm going to do is just slide this back and up. And you get to see the RC Max for all it is worth. Wow, serious. Yeah, it's not often we get to see something this amazing. Are you, can you believe we're going to have to get this dirty today? It's too pretty. I, I, it's not mine, so I'm excited to see it get dirty. Just to wrap it. <laughs> just, just to do it. I'm excited to see it get dirty. So I did do the oh, double shocks dang. here. I did do the double shocks. If you guys are doing this. the wheelie bar, uh, there are you can put it into the top thread right here. And also there is a pre-drilled hole in the frame already that another screw will go to right there. As long as your collars aren't in the way, you shouldn't have any problem, which mine aren't. And any eight scale tire can fit on the back there, Mr. Everett. Where is this from? This is actually Mike Taylor's personal uh, uh, um, this is the prototype wheelie bar that he is oh. making. Yeah, so if you're gonna have this kind of power, uh, if you saw the last video where I tore the crap out of my wife's mm -hmm. Raminator, uh, it was important to have one of these, so. I also see that JS Performance came out with a, a new bumper and wheelie bar. I never even, I, I was too busy looking at this. Yeah, buddy. Section. Well, yeah, I, I, I don't even, I don't take my eyes off of this engine. <laughs> Carbon fiber, Man, aluminum. Man, so shiny. Yep, it is. Yeah, these posts look awesome. Yeah, well, you know, and bypassing, this is another JS performance thing I got off of the RC Max website. This is one of the weakest points on the Raminator that I found. This and these, uh, these uh, uh, horns for steering, they seem to, even though this is tight over here, I can definitely get some play out of it. So I wouldn't mind cinching that up, but these are beautiful. What up, Jerome? <laughs> Okay, so uh, here is the breather install. I didn't show this. I did put it in a plug. I didn't see that this was actually in the kit uh, of hardware for the engine. So I want to make sure people see that. Also, if you're going to be using the Primal RC kill switch, look on the bottom. This is the bottom of the on off switch. You're going to want to make a, a cable to come, the black cable, negative cable up to the back of the RC Max button right there. And then that will act as your kill switch. Just shorts it. Just shorts it out. That's right. So pretty. Are you ready to start it? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! We should do up those uh, the coil wires. That's right. I'm trying to get the post in the hole. I don't have a problem with that, as you can see, because I have a son. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> oh, that's a shot right there. What a beauty butt end of that track. What an ass yep. on that yep. sucker. What a rear end. Woo-wee! Perfect. Gorgeous. Get those pins in and we'll dirt her up. Enjoy that shot later that you're going to edit out. <laughs> <laughs> at all. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I cannot reach the hole. Look at the size of this thing. He's laying on it. I'm trying. Oh, yeah. Got it. Not many RCs you can just lay on as a full grown man. Full grown man child. We're ready? We're ready buddy. Kill switch. Active. One, two, three. Kidding, I got hard nipples. I, I really. Wow. 
Wow, this is the first start right now. Fired up like that. We're gonna let it warm up a little bit. We'll rip it. Wow. I think we should tell everyone to put earplugs on. It is loud. <laughs> okay, for your own safety, get yourself some earplugs and put them on right now. <laughs> See, you stole my Better? springs. <laughs> Those are my springs I ordered. What are you talking about? <laughs> I had to order them on eBay. Did you? Yeah. Dude, the Just flag. Just drive it already! I know, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just looking at it. <laughs> oh. Running real rich. Okay, so stock needle settings are uh, one and a half turns out on the high and the low. And uh, of course, braking process, new elevation. How many feet are we above sea level? 30, no clue. 3,800 feet above sea level. So different oxygen ratio. And so it's just a matter of getting tanks through it and tuning it to where it goes, yeah? Yeah. Oh. I actually have the extension kit on my Raminator, which makes it two inches longer than the stock one. Did you change the gearing too? Well, everything is stock. I want stock, to keep yeah. it stock. Yeah, we can always bump the gear if you want, eh? I just wondered. What we should do. Body on, he's an animal. Oh, yeah. Actually, I was having a malfunction there. It was going to full throttle by itself. Oh. I was managing it over there. Thank God we had the kill switch put in, eh? Let's see what happened. So I got stuck open at full throttle. Look at this. See this? Aha, the cable stay came out right in this area. You can see through the hole right here. here. Yeah, right oh, here. Yeah. The cable came out, so somehow I got stuck at full throttle there. So we need to figure out, like, I'll zip tie this cable stay to this um, to this uh, bracket right there and keep it in place. Hey, Everett just noticed something interesting about the Raminator. Here is the sway bar on the chassis. They've got a little hole that's cut out there. But if you look on top, you'll see it's kind of bending it out. So on the front, they've got these nice little perfect round pieces that really doesn't do any damage. Show them on this side. Right here. Yeah, and you can see it's, it's eating like it here. Eating right into the chassis. We need to get some sort of like plate and like stick it over here to help strengthen that up, like maybe yeah. a metal plate there. Okay, so we're leaning this down. I've got it to about one and a quarter uh, on the high needle and we're leaving the low needle as suggested by Mike at one and a half uh, turns out. So Your part of the world will be different. You're, yeah, because we have different <laughs> oxygen levels here, I think we're going to have to go even leaner on the high. You ready to rock? All right, let me get some earplugs. Hold on. Oh, that's a good idea. Earplugs. <laughs> everybody put on your earplugs. This sucker. It's, it's, it's the loudest well, one I've ever heard. I've never it's heard like something like a this straight, loud. Uh, just a straight pipe. I've never heard something this loud. It's starting to wake up. We don't even have one tank to it yet. It's hard to judge and tell what the power is like this. The power is insane. I think we should put the body on and go for a few jumps. Oh man! <laughs> it's waking up! Oh my god! 
It just wants to twist. I'm glad I have double shocks on there. Hey. You gotta put the body on. Okay. <laughs> That's the loudest thing I've ever heard in my life for an engine. Yeah, I'm glad to live in the middle of nowhere because uh, noise complaint. So what you're saying is... Can you imagine having this in an apartment <laughs> and having to take the elevator up to the 10th floor? You'd be like, nope, you can catch the next one. <laughs> If I didn't have dual shocks on here, that, I think the dual shocks is also helping prevent it from catwalking as well. That is sounding so much better. Oh, she's looking a beauty, bud. What the hell? Those RC Max flags on the back. Everyone should have flags for their monster truck. I agree, they look so sick. Oh yeah! Well, I think we better hit some jumps before these guys get tired of the video. I agree. Oh man! Okay, let's talk suspension for a second. Everybody says that my suspension is too stiff. I have never seen a monster truck soak up jumps. Its poor purpose is to get up high in the air, yeah? Stiff suspension? I think that's the way to go. Is somehow backflip style. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be hotter than a mother. Yeah. <coughs> nah, it's not. Oh, there, there you go. Then what was it? Oh, the kill switch said it was hit. So I'm ready to go. It says. Okay. That's cool. Oh yeah. Let's go. Oh no. <laughs> That's what happens when you go in birds. Shaking 
taking my brakes right apart. I got no brakes. <laughs> That's all it does. It just wants to pull and rip my brakes apart. But all the drive shafts are still working for now. But it is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Right? <laughs> What did you just say? <laughs> what did you say? I want to try and get it over that pile. You said you want to go slow over well, the pile. You know, it's, yeah. They don't want slow, but we got to learn, oh, yeah? You know, I know. So, I'm so like so literally high. shaking right now because they don't know how much f***ing power this thing has. To... Well, it is back. What do you think, Ev? I think it's one of the coolest things I've touched. Yeah, it's uh, definitely an insane monster. Uh, I don't know if I've touched a cooler RC in my life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we still, like, we only have one tank of fuel through this truck. Uh, we knew it was windy today, uh, and we know I wasn't pulling a lot of catwalks, but again, uh, with the double suspension in the back, as well as uh, having a longer vehicle, plus I'm running the stock gears in there. Lots of, uh, lots of different things we can do with this. We know we're gonna see it going even faster, Man, I've got sure starting to rip though. Dude, right? I've I've got a That wasn't a lot of runtime either. I have to get way more practice uh, because I'm used to the stock engine. I knew how to <laughs> jump it. Now you go to give it and it just wants to like it, like go backwards and do a backflip. So Yeah, we were getting the tune on point. It was starting to yeah. it was uh, woo! Wee! You gonna man up and drive it next time? You betcha. <laughs> Guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. We'll see you in the next episode of RC Adventure. Shout out to RC Max, killer engine. Heck yeah. <laughs>